Hello everyone, this is Robert from Book of Mormon Editions, where we discuss printings, publications, and various editions of the Book of Mormon. So I think today's review is regarding one of the coolest editions of the Book of Mormon. Wait till you see this one. Maybe you can't, because it takes a microscope to read it, but we'll get to that in a minute. Within this square is the full text of the Book of Mormon, and the printed material covers 4.6 by 4.6 centimeters. This is currently listed as the world's smallest Book of Mormon, all 291,000 words printed on about a two-inch square. It lists the text font as five microns high. That is super small and obviously needs a microscope to be readable. The background on this was that the engineering department within Brigham Young University has a clean room and has equipment within it to make and print microchips. They call it photolithography, and it's a complex process to imprint various circuits on a thin silicon wafer. So the long story short is that as a practice for the students and faculty, the engineering department took the text of the Book of Mormon and imprinted it on a microchip silicon wafer. And uh, as an added step, they dusted the disc with gold to give it some gold plate aesthetics. However, it's amazing that they can produce a large amount of text within a small space. But thanks to today's technology, it happens within a two-inch square area. So this disc is showcased on the fourth floor of the BYU Engineering Building and available to see if you chance to go up there. This project was organized by Dr. Aaron Hawkins as an example of what the department can do in their clean room services. I had the chance to talk with him and he mentioned that this was an interesting process in taking the text of the Book of Mormon, converting it into code, and then having the machi machines imprinted into the microchip style disk. The department also created the text of the Old and New Testaments in other disks and are on display also there. There's a couple of links to articles and news videos regarding the making of these, so I'll post it in the notes below. So it's noted that duplicates of these Book of Mormon and other scripture discs were made and given to various students and faculties. Uh, these duplicates were even sent to the Salt Lake Church History Library, and it's fascinating that this is currently listed as the world's smallest Book of Mormon. I had a chance to see a disc under a microscope, and sure enough, the full text is there. The text starts with the Book of Mormon title page, and the introduction makes takes up just the first line. Then the end of the first line and wrapped to the second is the witness statements, and then onward to the text of the Book of Mormon itself. What's interesting is that the text block square is specifically spaced, and any word on the right margin will be broken up per character for a hard return, with no hyphen or syllable structure endings. However, it makes sense that if you have a specific 4.6 centimeter width, that there's not any point to justify the margins or spacing. It's also useful that every verse is identified with a book, chapter, and verse number. Otherwise, it would be even more difficult to find any passage. However, I don't think long-term reading this volume would be practical, as I can't use a red pencil or highlighter very well anyway. Interesting, the last verse on Moroni chapter 10 ends in the middle bottom of the square, meaning that they had a half a line left to spare. So does this make one side shorter than 4.6 centimeters? I guess I'm splitting hairs on that. All jokes aside, this was an amazing experience to see a volume of the Book of Mormon on such a small service. Professor Hawkins said that there is technology to print even smaller, but then you get into needing electric electron microscopes to read. I guess there is a conversation regarding capacity to do so that's different than effectiveness for everyday readers. It's also fascinating that uh, when exposing the disc to normal air results in the surface getting dust and particles on the disc. When we saw the sample under a normal microscope, you could see the dust particles floating around the surface. I guess hence the need for a clean room if you're working on microchip manufacturing, not just Book of Mormon printing. So thanks everyone for reviewing this today. Feel free to comment down below if you've seen the news articles on this and tell others about this video. On a side note, this Book of Mormon is listed in the Book of Mormon census as H0016 in the honorable mentions section of the census. 
And this is truly what it was an honorable experience to view this and see the text of the Book of Mormon in such a fascinating way. So feel free to look at BurkeofMormonCensus.com website for their other interesting volumes and copies. And if you have a special or unique volume of the Book of Mormon that you'd like reviewed here, please contact me at BOMEditions at gmail.com. Best wishes, everyone.